In this video, I'm going to talk about the Van't Hoff equation. In thermodynamics, the Van't Hoff equation helps calculate how temperature change affects the value of K. So, in other words, we can calculate K at different temperatures as long as we have an enthalpy change. So, this, sen this last sentence right here will tell you when to use the Van't Hoff equation. So, we have different temperatures. If you take a look at the equation, right here we have T2 and T1 so we'll have two different temperatures and that's when you know you can use this equation. The Van Hoff equation involves the natural logarithm of K2 over K1 which is what we pretty much obtain and then that logarithm equals negative change of enthalpy over the constant R all times 1 over T2 minus 1 over T1 so that involves our two temperatures one more thing about the equation is that we need an enthalpy change right here it says that calculate K at different temperatures given an enthalpy change and that's because it goes right here if we don't have that enthalpy change we can't use this equation so now let's see how a problem that requires the use of the Van Hoff equation usually go so right here is our chemical reaction this reaction starts at a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius with a K value of 9.36 times 10 to the negative 17. And we also have an enthalpy change of 131 kilojoules per mole. Now, the question is, what will K be when the temperature reaches 700 degrees Celsius? So, if we look at this, we can notice that this fulfills all of our requirements. We have our temperature 1 right here, temperature 2, we have a change of enthalpy, and we have K1. So all we need to do is find the value of K2. So let's plot all the values. We have that ln of K2 over K1, which is 9.36 times 10 to the negative 17 is equal to negative 131,000 joules per mole over our value of R which is 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin. Now because R is in joules over moles kelvin we have to change our, our units to the same unit so we change the kilojoules per mole to joules per mole and then we'll have to change the degree celsius to kelvin and that we will get then that this is all times 1 over 973 kelvin that's temperature 2 minus 1 over temperature 1 which is 298 Kelvin. So this goes right here. And solving all of that and getting rid of the natural logarithm using one of the techniques, the way you do that is you just write all of this, all of this calculation right here is the power of E. So let's say right now, because of how long this is, I'm just going to call this x. Then you would you would just write that k2 over 9.36 times 10 to the negative 17 is equal to e to the power of x. And that's how you get rid of the natural logarithm. So let's see how this goes. We have K2 over 9.36 times 10 to negative 17 is equal to E to the power of X, which should be 1.51 times 10 to the 15. Let me write that a little better. There we go. 
So then you just multiply that times 9.36 and 10 to the negative 17, and you'll get that K2 is equal to 0 0.797. And that would be the value of K2. So using the Van Hoff equation, we calculated how K change when the temperature went from 25 degrees Celsius to 700 degrees Celsius. Before we had a K value of 9.36 times 10 to the negative 17, and now we got a K of 0 0.797. And that's it for the Van Hoff equation. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it and found it useful. And if you did, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to see more videos like this one.